Hey guys, happy Halloween. Um, I'm going to give you an update on the bike. We've got some more parts coming in. I did some more work on it. Uh, I don't know if I had uh, mentioned this on a previous video, but I uh, scraped it. Um, I mounted this on the bottom. This was a tripod. Uh, the reason for that is the previous bike that I built, this rack here was wider. It came down to it there and had double these ribs in it to keep the bags from sliding to the wheel. This one didn't have it, so I basically just made this um, out of an old tripod. As you can see where it slides in and out there. Bolted it there, and over here I used little clips to uh, bolt it to the, um, the bolt that holds this piece together here. It's solid. It'll keep the bags from slamming into the wheel. And uh, it looks like it's, you know, finished. Could paint it black, but I can't be bothered. Uh, the battery box. Uh, been working on that today. It took a couple of hours to figure it out. Uh, one of the issues I have is, obviously, it's not going to go on the down tube because of the geometry of the frame. And there's no water bottle holder on this on this frame. Not to mention that it's, it's, uh, it's very narrow. So, actually the top tube is the only place it can really go. Not that it doesn't look too bad. It kind of gives it a, kind of <laughs> a motorcycle kind of look to it. But, what I want to happen here is my future batteries are all going to be like this same type. So, uh, right now I use it as a booster pack. But what I can do down the road is when I'm not using both packs, if I have to use the back rack for whatever reason, I can terminate this end here and use a 49 volt pack on here and basically you know it, it frees up the back end of the bike so I can haul stuff, stuff on it um, so I can have multiple packs like this one here will be a um, 12 volt 30 amp hour and I'll have another one that'll be 49 or even 60 if you can get it in that I don't know uh, I haven't done much research on these packs yet I just know that I, I I would like to just use something like that with uh, lithium batteries. Um, yeah, so that was a pain. I had to drill through the frame carefully in three places, and then what I used for the uh, keep it from teetering is I used um, old e-bike bolts for the uh, hub motor, and the flared side I have on the frame now keep it from it gives it a little bit of support so it doesn't tip like that. And for the back, actually, let me get this thing off and I'll show you. It slips off pretty easily. For the back, I drilled a hole through the plastic and then I used a machine bolt and I bolted it right to the, um, the metal, pla oh, metal plate that's, uh, that's underneath. So that metal plate from here to here is give it, it's got total support. It's, it's not moving for anything. I mean, I could not see this just being mounted on the frame on the water bottle holders with just this and this. I mean, this would be flimsy. But uh, this works out pretty good the way it is now. Um, I thought maybe I'd have to build some kind of um, uh, wedge or something in there to make up the difference. But uh, it's, it's pretty solid. Surprised, actually. So, that's out of the way. And uh, it just happens to be perfectly level and perfectly straight. Couldn't get any better than that. So that's, that's about it. Uh, I have some more parts coming tomorrow. And another review on uh, another controller with an LCD that I would like to try out. But I uh, figured I'd share that. Um, Next round of orders, I'm going to be ordering the um, uh, tab welder and uh, nickel strips to start building some battery packs. Later, guys.